Oh, what's up everyone? There's a lot to get done, but uh, I got some packages to open. Now, almost all of this I know what it is, but I'm, I don't know what this is. Wait, okay, foam technician. That's familiar. I feel like I've had a conversation with this person. Forgive me for not remembering, but I'm, let's get into all of this. So uh, let's start with some of the big ones. Ugh. By the way, I love what people are putting as my last name. So we got Jangular Fabulous now, <laughs> which is fantastic. So uh, I enjoy the, the random last names people give me when uh, they send packages. So this, I'm fairly certain, is from Trailminer, who is a Patreon uh, supporter and uh, actually sent me a message. Yeah. There we go. The Infinis. We have one in our possession now. We can review this. I know we're a little bit late, but this is something I have been very, very curious about as uh, pretty much everybody has been. But Trailminer shot me a message and said, I've got all these Nerf Perks points that, uh, do you want anything? And that's just like, okay, that's crazy. That's awesome. Thank you. Let's do an Infinis because that's the most interesting one of the bunch. And uh, thank you so much, Trailminer. This is amazing. Uh, the people watching this channel never cease to blow my mind. So um, thank you. We'll get a review up on this. I'll spend some time with it. I need to get... Uh, some D batteries to do that, but this is awesome and something I'm looking forward to messing around with next up. We have Something from another patron now Those of you may remember Pandemonium sent us the gen 2 eclipse cage to test and when we started to test it our chronograph decided it didn't want to read things properly and read uh, it seems about 20 FPS below. And so he messaged me and said, I'm sending something your way. And ooh, this is a, this is a chronograph I have not ever seen. Okay, hold on. Caldwell, so it's a Caldwell. That is a like, what? So it's an upside down chronograph that has light bars and it looks like it connects with an app. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm super amped about this and I'm hoping I finish filming before it gets dark out because I want to go mess with this and this is freaking awesome. I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel spoiled. I feel genuinely ridiculously spoiled by the the people that watch and support this channel i um wow i'm super amped okay we're gonna we're just gonna chronograph like everything now um i yeah i want to open that up like i'm getting distracted here my apologies that that yeah that's awesome um let's save what i don't exactly know for last let's save something that i actually purchased or open something I actually purchased. This is from Devil's Nerf Works. And uh, when we got to talk and meet at FoamCon and End War, he had some new products that he was showcasing and wanted some feedback and testing on. And after spending like 20 minutes or so getting a, a handle on something, one of his new designs, I was like, okay, I need to test these in a game because these are awesome. Let me buy some and uh, I want to run them. So. What he has done, is that a sticker? Yes, Devil's Nerf Works sticker. Yes. All right. He has created very, very minimalist mag holders. And these are very interesting in the way they function. Oh yes, okay, I'm pretty excited about these. So he gave me both a horizontal and a vertical uh, I purchased a few of these and then he sent a couple extras, 
including a double stack one that I will be certainly curious to try out. But what's interesting about these is they're so low profile, like they are tiny and uh, the mags just slot in and you're, I mean, you're good. You are, you are in there and uh, you have to like pull out slightly to, uh, to get them to come out, which took me a little bit of getting used to because it felt like I was gonna break something or um, things like that. But once I got the hang of it and was messing around, I actually had to borrow his belt to get it to fit and test it. But like, it just, it felt good. It felt really good. And then there's the added bonus of being able to top off your mags while you're uh, doing this. So these are gonna be test running games. I'm going to just beat the, it's just, I'm, I'm gonna abuse them is really what's gonna happen. I'm gonna dive on them, I'm gonna slide on them, I'm going to uh, just try to mess them up and see how they survive. So I'm super amped about that. And then something that he said he was tossing in for me to, to check out is uh, a couple of his new Strife pushers that work for both full length magazines and half length magazines. Uh, so you see this little portion here that extends out. When you put a full length mag in, that should be nudged out of the way and allow the uh, regular pusher to push the full length dart. When you use a short dart, it should slot in and push through, which is a super cool, super creative idea. And I'm really, really amped to give those a try as well. So thank you, Devil's Nerf Works. I am very excited. All right, to close out this unboxing day, Let's see what uh, Foam Technician sent us. I, I know I've had a conversation with this person. I know I have. And I feel like as soon as I open this, I am going to uh, remember and feel like a complete dork for not uh, remembering immediately when I saw that logo. All right. What is in store? I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut myself always try to cut properly when you open things. Let's see what we have here. We have, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's, that's very, okay, there's a note in here. Before we, we uh, ogle too much, ooh, that's, okay. Ah. Hey Jangular, hope you like the gifts. I've included a custom Nerf battery stock. That's what we talked about, the battery stock. Sorry if that was really loud. Uh, a Kronos door delete and uh, a couple of speed loaders. Ha 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 ha. And a speed loader clip. Printed them in a color I thought you might like. Anyway, keep up the good videos. Love your stuff. Sincerely, Tetsu Foam Technician. Tetsu, thank you so much uh, for the kind words and the fantastic if I knew I knew the moment the moment I uh, read that I was like oh that's what it was I was something I was excited for okay this is cool this is very cool all right so this is a, a stock obviously but on this bottom of this stock is a battery door and that has me very excited because I have wanted battery stocks for a long time because not only does it help with a little bit of weight distribution, I mean, very, very minimal because batteries aren't that heavy, but uh, it just gets some of the bulk out of the way. And that's a decent size. Let's, let's grab. If this fits the Bolt V2 1000 milliamp, yes, I'm going to be pretty happy. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. With room to spare. Okay, now I'm just curious. Now I'm just really curious. Let's find the big boy battery I have. I've got a 2200 milliamp battery way back here. Because I rarely use it anymore, but it's a big boy. It's, it's, it's a big one. Let's see. Oh, that fits. All right, so this battery stock can handle a 22 milliamp 3S. That's pretty awesome. Um, all right. You know, I told myself I was gonna move this camera around as we went through 
these unboxings, but uh, I got so amped and so into this and so excited because people are crazy and send me amazing things that I don't deserve. Um, I forgot. So apologies for the static position, but this is something I very, very excited about and cannot wait to wire something up to give this a go. I'm wondering if I should change up one of my current Strifes. I don't think I'm gonna put it on the Fabu Strife uh, V1, but maybe the older, like the, the, the original, maybe we'll do that. Let's take a look at some of these really quick. Was this stickers? Yes. I'm gonna do a sticker bomb blaster at some point. So all these stickers people send me, very awesome. Oh my God. All right, speed loaders. And this really, really nice, almost like a sea foam kind of color, which is really nice looking. Okay, I cannot wait to do the Kronos build that I uh, have on the list of things. Actually, I was thinking about this last night. The next, we got our door delete and we've got a little clip to hold our speed loaders. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I'm pretty excited, but yeah. Uh, I was thinking of this last night, I think it was. I need to put up a poll on the Patreon to ask some of the supporters which project to do next, because I've got a lot and I want some opinions. So if you're a patron uh, and you want to hit that up, definitely, definitely do so. That should be up hopefully by the time this video goes out. But Foam Technician, thank you so much. This is amazing. Everyone, thank you. Trail Miner, thank you for the infamous. Uh, pandemonium, thank you for not only the Eclipse Cage, but this crazy chronograph. This is insane, and I am... I am beyond excited. And again, Tattoo, thank you. Devil's Nerf Works, thank you. Um, let's go have some fun, yeah? I'm, I'm pretty excited right now, so let's hop into something else. So you just saw me clumsily test the capabilities of the Devil's Nerf Works uh, dual stage pusher, I guess we'll call it. I'm not, I can't remember the official name, but uh, the pusher here that lets you use both short dart magazines and full length magazines. Now you saw me switch between the uh, regular P mag I have in here and also the tungsten short dart adapter or katana mag adapter that slips right in and allows me to put katana mags in, which is an awesome, awesome thing. So I really, really like this adapter. It does have some little kind of issues here and there still that I'm really hoping will be addressed. Um, uh, namely that even though I've removed all the ribbing and everything from inside the internals of this strife, this one still catches uh, and has too much pressure on the side of the last dart or two and does not fire the last dart or two properly. But that's, that's uh, just one little thing about that. We're talking about this and this performed well at first glance. So I'm very, very excited about this as it would make things far, far easier 
when it comes to wanting to switch between full length and half length darts. So first thoughts, I'm digging this. I'm gonna have to run this in a game, obviously, to get an idea of what it is uh, in terms of long-term reliability and capabilities, but first first thoughts, I like it. I'm definitely a fan. Thank you, uh, Devil's Nerfworks, for sending uh, those along with my order. Um, that said, once I get to play with them in a game, I will definitely let you know. And if you didn't know, this stock here, this oh, this lovely stock, is also Devil's Nerfworks. Uh, and I... I used this stock the last 5v5 uh, King of the Hill day, and uh, I am a big fan of this stock. It extends out a good length, so even someone with long arms like me can really get a comfortable, comfortable feeling with my blaster. So uh, if you don't own one of these, definitely consider it. It's awesome. Um, you do have to get a buffer tube. So I think he may sell them with them, but I got mine without because I had this wonderful purple pink one. Uh, but regardless, just wanted to share my first initial thoughts and show you that quick clip of the firing demonstration. Uh, so yeah, I I'm looking forward to running this in an actual game. So real quick, I wanted to give you an update on the camera situation. I just received an email today that my camera is unfixable apparently, and they have uh, given me an Amazon gift card equivalent of the amount of the camera so I can buy a new one. Problem is, it's been so long that the camera I was using has since been discontinued. There's now a version six of the camera, which is $200 more expensive and also has some changes that I don't like. Things that I wanted them to revert back. Good news is that there is now a version 5A of the version five of the camera that I had uh, that is being released by Sony. Bad news again, that camera is not being released till the end of August. So I think I'm going to have to wait another month or so until I can get a camera to replace the broken camera. And we're so everyday nerf essentially is going to continue to be on a slower schedule because uh, it's not as easy to film having to set everything up with a camera that uh, is more geared towards well lit, properly set up type uh, shots and everything like the stuff I do for this week in Nerf where everything's properly lit and, and set up and all that. It's not really a, a, a just kind of shooting on the go style that which uh, the Sony cam that I had is and the one that I'm looking forward to buying with the replacement gift card in the future in August. So things are yeah, it's gonna be another month of kind of you know, make and do with what we have and trying to make things work. But thank you for your patience. Um, again, like I mentioned, I, shoot, I actually have all the stuff that I opened that still days later is just kind of blowing my mind that I'm so looking forward to opening up and sharing with all of you and so grateful for that. I, I just, I feel, I can't put it into words. Thank you. I feel very, very blessed. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone. And with that said, I, I I have more stuff to go pick up actually to share with you and things to open that I'm excited about. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. There's a poll on Patreon. If you are uh, th the $3 tier or higher, please go check it out. Please go vote in the poll. Let me know what I should do next out of the options once we get all caught up. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to sharing everything with you as always. If you're new to the channel, and enjoyed this, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much. I'm Jangular, I'm pointing again, but now we're done.